Hi guys, we're here at Nimnik Chevrolet and we're going to do a cool truck test for you guys. We're always curious what would be a good vehicle to tow your boat with. So we're going to do some tests on different vehicles. I um, really appreciate Nimnik Chevrolet helping us out, providing us with some vehicles to test. And today we're going to be testing out a 1500 truck. Um, I'm going to hook it up to the boat, we're going to go fishing, we're going to see how it tows, we're going to do some tow tests, look at the truck in general. Um, but it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty excited uh, to show you guys, you know, what we find and hopefully help you guys find your next truck for your outdoor adventures. truck smell. Wow, this is pretty cool. Ooh. <laughs> now, a lot of people may not be impressed by power seats, but keep in mind, we're driving a 2001 Ford F-250 right now, so this is a big step up. This is over 20 years newer than the truck we're using. It's, there's not even a key to turn it on. You press a button. Very cool. Um, so, drive and watch see my tire pressure. Wow, look at the size of that screen. You could watch Real Hazard's YouTube videos <laughs> on this bad boy. Only... It's, it's look, just the rear view. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Ooh, that's interesting. It's okay, how do we get out of here? Right here. Okay, right. Yes. Super nervous. I do not want <laughs> to damage this brand new car. So guys, one thing to note during this test, um, a lot of times we're gonna compare it to our old diesel. We have a F250 7.3 liter diesel, 2001, I think. Um, it's not a truck for truck comparison. We're not doing, you know, which, which models, but those are totally different models, totally different brands, way different in years. This is more of a test to compare how different trucks compare to the need we have for them of towing our boats you know and in general driving around town you know obviously you can get the biggest heaviest truck you can find and it's going to tow great but it may not be practical to get the biggest and heaviest so we're just looking at different truck models to see you know what does the job we need it to um, and how it does riding around town and then just since a lot of people are familiar with the f-250 the old 7.3 you know, we're going to make comparisons to that as well in case you have a similar truck and you're wondering what a, a different truck like this would do. It seems to have pretty decent uh, power. Of course, I'm only going 28 miles an hour. So. so the turning radius was pretty good. We went down Kalis told the sack. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Not like my truck where it takes like three blocks and turn it around. That's pretty neat to where you can see like how fast you're going yeah. in the windshield. It's a heads up display. So when the police stopped you, I have no idea how fast I was going. Liar. <laughs> you're more constantly watching it. Yeah, so it pretty much just takes away every excuse you could do for like violating the law, you know. I couldn't see what was behind me. Wrong. Couldn't see what was beside me. So probably the first thing you should do when you get on these things is know what all the buttons are. It's like flying a jumbo 747 at this point man i got freaking buttons over here that does all kind of stuff that tells me my altitude my air pressure my christmas list and all that other kind of stuff it just got everything now my truck you would have had to back up to it on this little cul-de-sac it's right? not like a truck i mean kind of a smooth ride to it so you haven't been too bouncy all right, guys, we are pulling our little boat, uh, the 217 Blazer Bay. So this is a bay boat, not super heavy, kind of a good medium, you know, lightweight test before we pull the big 30-foot contender. Now, we're still getting used to the electronics, but it is very cool um, how it's got, like, this whole big display. You know, you can look at your trailer feature, like... If there's a problem with your turn signal, with your with your trailer lights, you can see it on this display. Um, got a little warning light from my right turn signal. 
So it's pretty neat. I can see uh, trip fuel economy, trailer things, backing it up with that lights easy. And what's really cool about this truck that I've noticed is there's even lights and, or sorry, lights or cameras in the front. There's like 10 cameras in the front of the truck. So when I'm pulling out, you know, trucks are big. It's sometimes hard to see what's right in front of you, especially if it's small, low to the ground. You can see it on your display. Um, our gate isn't huge, so sometimes it can be tricky getting in and out. But with that camera, it makes it really easy. And then you don't yell at your significant other when you're trying to back up because you can see where you're going. You don't have to depend on them to go. You can see it all. Not on the camera. Got a real windy day and we're not getting any sway pushing the wind like we do. Sometimes with the other truck. Big trailer knows that um, after you busted a couple of tires out from hitting <laughs> concrete um, curbs and mm -hmm. you know rub the side of your boat down the rail or something, that you make wide turns <laughs> and you, you turn. So that was a super cool feature. Didn't know about that either. When we turned, put our turn signal on, get ready to turn it, it showed a camera pointing back at our trailer, the side that we're turning. So the screen up front, actually, we could see, you know, if our trailer, you know, because a lot of times when you turn with the trailer, you got to make a wider turn. You can't turn like normal because that back trailer will hit whatever, you're, you know, you're turning the curb or something. But what's cool about this is that the truck showed on the display, you know, you could see the whole side of the trailer. You can see if your turn was wide enough, if you're going to hit anything, you can stop if you need to. If um, a vehicle's beside you. Yeah, if there's a vehicle beside you, whatever the case. Um, really helpful feature when towing stuff. If you're new at pulling a trailer, that checklist is definitely something to go by. Because things that you don't think about, like the air pressure on the tires, um, safety chain hooking up, hooked up, little things that um, you don't really think about. A lot of people think you just back up and hook it down. Some of them even forget to pop down the uh, lock on the trailer hitch ball. And then not only did we put the lock on, or pop it down, but then we put a bolt to it. So that, that fast blink, that tells you that you got an issue there. Put your right turn signal, whether it be on the truck or on the trailer. this the thing you can watch too is you can check your tires too um, when you're making those turns if you got a flat tire or you know uh, a wobbly tire or something bad bearings or something you can look as you turn and you'll see the movement in the tire the cameras are really helpful in that aspect So far, so good. Thinks I'm about to have a collision. Alright guys, we've been towing the boat this morning. Getting ready to get to the ramp. See how it does launching. Get some uh, some more shots this uh, afternoon when it's a little lighter. Show you guys what it can do. But uh, so far, it's uh, doing good. About to see if we can go catch some fish. All right guys, we are done fishing back at the ramp. So now it's time to load it up. So we're gonna see how this bad boy uh, truck does pulling out this boat.
each other different. Even though we have the diesel, this seems like it's got a little more power coming out, accelerating up and all that stuff. One of the benefits, I guess depending on how you look at it, is it's a uh, V8 gas engine, not a diesel. The benefit to that right now is that diesel is about $2 more per gallon. Uh, diesels are very powerful and they last a long time, which is great. But right now with fuel costs being so high, you know, that's a kind of a factor, you know, paying $2 more per gallon. Now mileage wise has been um, pretty interesting. So far the, the truck has been doing similar mileage to our, you know, older diesel. Sometimes um, my, my, what I was wondering was being a gas engine and maybe not having the power when we were towing, we may actually get worse mileage. Uh, right now we're really getting pretty comparable. Doesn't look like it's that much less, but I'll, I'll post the, the numbers of our trip pretty soon. Another thing that you, when you're thinking about buying a truck is what's good, how much different uses or will you have with it? Will it be a one that takes you around town? Will it be something you only use on the weekends to pull your boat? You know, all those things you take into consideration because if you're only going to pull your boat four or five times a year, then the boat consideration will probably be way less. Now, if you're going to um, drive it every, you know, pretty much every day of the year, you know, fuel economy and uh, comfort will play a big uh, factor in your choosing it. But if, if fuel economy isn't something that's really real important to you, you may want to go with the power of a, a heavier motor and stuff too. But this one here seems to be doing the job fairly well. All right, guys, we just got back from fishing, towed the boat back, wanted to kind of review our thoughts over the last few days of using this truck. So uh, you were pulling the boat. Um, what are your thoughts? You know, we've, we've pulled with our F-250 and you've pulled with a, a Ram 1500 Eco Diesel 50, 2015 model. I did. This one by far had the most power, had the most pickup of uh, the three trucks that I've drove with. Um, a lot more stability. The uh, Eco Dodge, seemed a little squirrely on the street. This one was very stable. Uh, starting, stopping is very good on it. A lot of good features on it. Uh, tells you if your trailer lights are out. Mm -hmm. It uh, got um, cameras come on when you go to turn to make sure you don't pop yeah. a curb or run into a post or something like that. Mm -hmm. So just comparing it to what we use it, you know, would you feel comfortable using this truck on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, us towing? Well, boat. if I was going to tow this boat every day, I would probably go up to a, a higher grade on it. Mm -hmm. Now, by the way, I tow it, where I only use it for weekends and stuff, it would work good for me because I it would only use it an unlimited amount. And, uh, you know, but if I was doing it every day, day to day, I would probably go up to a 2500. Gotcha. So, those are what my thoughts for let me know if, if you would agree. Like, I wouldn't tow any bigger boat than this. No, no, this I would think. would probably be the max range right. for this truck i agree this is the 27 contenders about as far as, as much as you want to put on this and mm -hmm. it was right in that towing window of what they they um they said that you could max tow on right yeah so this this was at the max range of the towing capacity we had a little room to spare but still um probably if you got a bigger boat um triple motor boat 35 36 bigger you definitely gonna want a diesel smaller 25 contender um, you know, check your boat too, because some smaller boats are heavier, so right. that'll definitely factor in. Yeah, I'd say most anything under 25 that this would be perfect for. Mm -hmm. Overall, I mean, it was good, and like you said, those features, those were huge to me. Like, putting on your blinker, it shows a camera down the whole side, so you can see if there's a car next to your boat, you know. So, you know, before we played the game of am I clear, am I clear, and us passengers are looking around to double check, but having that screen um those cameras really helped also backing up that camera to get a rather trailer hitch pole yeah instead of having somebody going this way this way this way uh, yeah like that you can look and it'll put, you, it'll put you right on it every time uh mileage wise we were getting a little faster we we're getting about eight and a half it was um, it had gotten up to over nine by okay the, after you left so my, my deal is, mileage-wise, it was almost identical to the diesel. Right. But diesel is also $2 more per gallon. 
So when you factor that in, it would mm -hmm. be a lot cheaper to drive this. Yeah. About 40% cheaper to drive it. Fuel yeah. Wise. It is nice not having to pay that diesel gasoline so much cheaper right now. So uh, overall, I'm going to add some details, just specs for the truck, the boat, uh, in the description. If you guys got any questions, you know, comment below. We'll help you out. Definitely want to thank Nimnik Chevrolet for hooking us up with a truck to test. If you guys are in the northeast Florida or South Georgia looking for a truck, by all means, check them out. You can get a truck like this. On Cassett Avenue. Yep. You can get this truck. Right. If it means that much, I'll even sign it for you. That's right. It, <laughs> if you we'll, don't want me to sign it, I won't. We'll put a little real hazardous sticker in the back window. Right. Put a little logo on it for you. Chevy Real Hazardous Edition. But also, we're going to be doing more truck tests because we want to see how other power, you know, diesels, different types of vehicles compare in this towing application. So, you know, subscribe and you'll see these updates when we test out other vehicles for these kind of outdoor towing applications. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Real Hazardous.